Hello dear friends, uh, as promised I was coming back and making a whole heap of videos like before the world went crazy and my eyes kicked off again so here I am back, uh, lightning fast for me um, with another video and another unboxing video or this one's going to be an unbagging because the box was a bit damaged and so I put the stuff in a, a bag uh, this is from Twice Diecast. I'm sure just about everybody in the community knows him. David Johns, what an absolute diamond geezer. A real salt of the earth guy, as so many of you are. And David, I can only apologise for this one. This is long, long overdue. As was Dimmy's. And I'm trying to keep... Um, XLT off-road bears box for next time because it is so large it might even be a two-parter. Uh, dear Joe, he's done me proud as, well, all my friends who we exchange boxes with do. So I've got no complaints. So I can't see what I'm dipping down into. Um, there is a couple of saucy ones in here. Um, I'll let you decide. Uh, trust David to find me something different. I mean, David have been friends for a couple of years. He's uh, becoming a bit of a superstar now with his uh, live broadcasts. And uh, I'm enjoying them. And I think from the amount of people judging in and commenting and what have you, asking live Q&A sessions, it's really taking off. So that's good. So David's got good perception where I am and he certainly sends me stuff I don't usually get to see so I'm just like I say these are coming down in no particular order um, I'm just pulling in uh, pulling out this bag which you'll hear rustling from time to time and the first piece I have pulled out is definitely one of them that we don't get in this country not this collector's series I know these are a bit fancy uh, and I've seen a lot of you show these type of things, so I know they're very popular, but they are a thing of beauty. So let's kick off then, and we're straight into a stunning Lamborghini Centenario Matchbox Collector Series. Comes with a box as they also used to when I was a child, and it looks like they started relabeling them with the numbers. I think as Johnny Roman once explained, you'd go to your model shop, car shop, die cast shop, and your old man would have lots of wooden shelves or glass shelves if he was really posh. And you'd see all the boxes from the sideways numbered, or from 00, zero and zero 01 up to two, 300, depending on how big... The series was, this is the days when there was an English company and they were manufactured in England, so we're going back a long way. But that's how they used to come and you'd just scan them and think, right, I like the looks of that, pull it out, go pay for it. But now they kind of make a big deal about the box, but it is only just a box, but it's nice. They sometimes look nice when you put them sideways like that, lay them down in a display and have the car stood on top of them. That's just an idea. It all depends what you want and how big your displays are. Well, let's face it, we know that space can run out pretty darn quick. And the last thing you want to do is maybe stop collecting. Because I did that for a short time and my heart was just yearning for something. We know this uh, hobby keeps us level-headed and sane and calm. And that's good for the blood pressure and all good things that come from that. So enough waffling. So as we said, it's Lamborghini Centenario. Um, beautiful, beautiful detailing on the back there. I'm going to zoom on my rickety... You can see it wobble there, look. On my rickety uh, tripod, of which a new one's been ordered, and that will arrive this Friday. So I'm looking forward to working with stable equipment. But um, there we go. Now we've zoomed in a bit. Can we see them? Really, really fine details on the back there. I'm looking at triple light clusters, 
the typical LED bar nowadays across the back, the Lamborghini badge there. Um, I'm assuming this is gold winged, although they don't look like they open, but it doesn't subtract. Beautiful red and black colour scheme, which for some reason remembers uh, or reminds me of Gary Newman in his Telecon era. Um, there are American cousins even know who Gary Newman is. Trent Reznor does. From Nine Inch Nails, that's cool enough. That's all you need to know. Uh, we've got some lovely lights on the front there and that uh, famous nose badge. So that is a killer start. Uh, beautiful. Thank you so much, David. What a start. you got to be happy with that. Reaching down. Oh, there's another big box. Oh, no, there's two. That's white. Okay. So those of you that know me know I collect the bone shakers with a fever and a passion. And at the time, this Moon Eyes one wasn't available to me. And then it was. So I'm not showing you nothing that you don't already know and you haven't seen or don't probably own. But basically, I managed to get one of these on short card, which is cracked open. This is on the American long card and typical in reverse fascination. Uh, you Americans like the uh, European short cards and we like the American long cards. So it's I think it's more about yearning for what you can't have uh, or haven't got access to. So it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's like drinking when you're a kid. It's fashionable. And then when you come of age, suddenly it loses its appeal. Because there's not that element of riskiness or danger or excitement. And I think that's how it is with cars. So let's try and get a three in on the bottom row. This I am so thrilled to have again. It might be something really common or garden for people around the world. Depending on what you get in your country. Got lots of TV and movie cars now. But I could never find this. As far as I was concerned, the only place I could find this was Modelmatic. And by the time you come to order, they've already sold out. Of course, the Mr. Moon Machine from Scooby-Doo. There's the Scooby-Doo logo up top. And now I feel my collection is a lot more completist because I have this. I have things like the Flintstone, the Beal, and I keep telling Kibbo I must have about 30 different variants of the Batmobile in 164, of which I will do a show about. And uh, I don't think Kibbo believes me so much, but you will, sir. You will. How about that? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very grateful because I specifically asked David, could he try and find me this casting? And because he's well connected, the answer was yes. Uh, so it might seem... Quite unremarkable to some of you guys, but to me that is a thing of beauty and something I needed as a bit of a completionist. This one is a fine vintage and the fact that it's card and I'm just having a quick look, see if I can uh, see a date on this. Just so I can give it some provenance. There we go. Made in Swansea, Great Britain. In 1984. Carded. And apart from some fade on the card. It's pretty damn pristine. And another part of my childhood. We're talking Corgi brand. Look at that. Die cast metal model. Free offer on the back. And there we've got a Zack Speed. Ford Capri. In black and gold. And you can tell. It's a Zack Speed. Because it's got all the race body kit on it. Big old uh, spoiler on the back there. Ultra wide arches squared off. David, although I'm British, this is my first Capri. I'm aware Hot Wheels do one, but do you think I can get it? I can't get the, I can't get the Capri. I can't get a Ford Anglia and I can't get a Sierra. As try as I might, I think the scalpers jump on them. Not that there's that many in cases, but... Some of the British classics that I grew up with, I used to have one of these anyway. Um, I had the laser version 1.9. And your ass feels like it's about two inches above the floor. They grip and handle so well. 
we used to go on a coastal road past a place called Marsh Chapel and we only do it because it's bend after bend after bend and you would get a feel for what the car loved and it loved corners but yeah so this is another first David thank you so much but this means something to me this does so I'm mightily impressed that you found that and not only that you've cared enough to send me it that is fantastic mix 67 all identify with this piece as well i'm sure hope you're doing well nick so thank you dave it's just immense um i also made another request of him again this might seem very common old garden to you um i say it's not so long ago i acquired the ghostbusters echo one um that's a real high quality one from green light um I acquired the A-Team van, which what I was after for ages. That's a green light, the dirty version. Absolutely joyful to look at. I'll show you that in another show. But I did ask Dave for this legend, Knight Rider. A clean version with a blinking eye. And there we go. How smart is that? How smart is that kit? Detailed on the back. A license plate. And there we got that red beam across the front, which went from left to right and back again. Lovely gloss back, black, split uh, sunroofs there. But at last I have Night Rider. So, David, thank you so much. Uh, you delivered on them too for me, and I am so appreciative. Uh, so you can see this box means something to me. And I'm feeling something substantial here. So we're going in there. And. Uh, God. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is stunning. My goodness. Right. So. Johnny Lightning. With a price on from uh, Robbie Lobby. Almost $10. All bar in a cent. But I'll come back to that price and na 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 na. We've got a bit of a running joke about it in England. But there we go. And Aston Martin Lagonda 1983. <sighs> Look at that detailing on the front. Oh, one of 3,000. Now, whether them uh, numbers are to be uh, believed is another thing. I've heard a lot of people give it credence a lot of people think no it's a load of baloney but um there we go in custom light blue metallic beautiful look at that nice tan interior different color steering wheel lovely lovely wheels so this in england obviously you know we like the american accent and we can pick up on the regional differences but we have a comedy show over here called Harry Enfield and Ch Chums Harry Enfield and Ch Chums and they do an American it's a send up, it's a spoof they do an American car lot salesman and everything in his car lot is $9,999.99 and it's just so they can play on the American accent and the $9.99 so I typically do a sketch where somebody comes in to buy a car and they'll say, if you take away this price today, we'll only charge you uh, $9,099.99 with a down payment and $9.99 or $99.99 and uh, nine payments and $99.99. <laughs> it's just all the nines and it, it we, we absolutely laugh at it. But it's just a send up of uh, some uh, Americanisms like, you know, I know a lot of Americans who think that we all live in castles, we're highly educated, we all know the Queen's telephone number and we simply do not. <laughs> it's nothing like that. No, we don't live on Yorkshire pudding and roast beef. I'll live on fish and chips, I grant you. But uh, yeah, and we all drink tea all the time. And of course, it's, it's just a load of baloney. 
It's a load of baloney, but yeah. $9,999.99 with a damn payment and 9999 <laughs> So now you'll know why I smiled when I saw 999 So I'm going to move some of these sidewards because we're piling up already with the quality and the specifically pieces that mean something to me because David's always good enough to email me every now and again and say, I'm going shopping, is there anything I can look for you for? Being as you can't get it, so so we'll put the JL in uh, in focus there. Because we all know Johnny Lightning, or most of Johnny Lightning, I'm not talking so much the praying mantis era, is the American buzzword for quality, along with some M2s and Auto World. And again, we don't get them so, so predominantly over here. Uh, I think there's a couple of pieces like this, but this is a Johnny Lightning and this is a premium premium because it comes in its own plastic packer. But yeah, this is where we got onto the bit of saucy. Well, look at this beautiful form. Is that Stephanie? Stephanie with an A. Hmm. We know Stephanie, don't we, uh, David? And if she looks half as good as this, honey, then you're a lucky man. But yeah, this is Johnny Lightning's calendar cars. And I do believe there's another one in the pack. Um, Beautiful. And we've got a beautiful... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm too busy looking at her and forgetting what bloody car we're looking at here. So we're obviously looking at a beetle here. Stunning, stunning. Uh, a beautiful deep as the ocean metallic red accurate wheels look at the trim look at the silver body line the tan folding uh, roof on the back the interior blacked out fine full details on the front get me big fat thumb out of the way <laughs> followed up by great detail on the back Bonus Prime Calendar or Calendria. Okay, limited edition, one of 5,000. Number eight in the series. There's that 75 bolt wagon. Super Beetle, but we'll give Mr. Dyson a bit of close-up Dyson vision there. Beautiful, that is. Honestly, you could dive into that paint. And... What information have we got on the back? Well, we can see this aperture cut out here straight away. And this is Stephanie's night. Oh, it's it's the car she drives then apparently. Stephanie's 1975 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Some girls like fast cars, but I wanted a cute car. My Beetle and I spend Sunday afternoon shopping and cruising with the top down. Which top down? Is that the top on the car or? Well, you are a calendar girl after all. I'm just assuming them. I'm just assuming here she's on about the car top down and not anything else. Uh, shopping and cruising with a top down. You can't argue we make the perfect couple. Well, if you're a bit of, com a, bit of a completist, I know something that would uh, tickle you more pink. Uh, and there's all the calendar girls there, look. From January through to December. I'll let you uh, pause that and read that. I could go on as I am anyway, so I think this lady has got to go front and centre. Forget the quality, look at that. In fact, I'm teasing here. I mean, tip that up a little bit more for you. So, yeah, David, uh, beautiful lady, beautiful car. I'll let the watcher decide which order to put in that. But, yeah, she's very easy on the eye, as we say, around these parts. Oh, look at this, the quality. Honestly, David, you've done me proud again, as you always do. And he knows what I like, as most people are coming to now. So here we go, the Matchbox Collector Series. And a beautiful, stun stunning 1962 Volkswagen Beetle in that beautiful metallic lilac purple uh, rag top on there. Just roll it back, clip it off. Some beautiful logos there that I'm not going to make an idiot of myself trying to read with my eyes. But 
will close in and let you read them at your leisure again fine detail on the front not so much on the back which is a bit of a surprise but overall I mean look at that just look at it collector's box number nine we've already looked at a number five so <laughs> wow my love of all things Volkswagen is just uh, a weakness and but it makes it um, I don't want to damage that so I'm going to put that away and leave it space for another calendar girl in fact I'm going to make space now from the 999 so right I think this is going to make a fantastic uh, still for the uh, aperture oh, oh David 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 goodness me Johnny Lightning with a collector's box. Do you need me to tell you that's a 1975 Beetle? I mean, the cream is a stock colour, which I like. Details, front and back, but look at that tan interior. And again, a fold down soft top. One of just under 5,000 there. Ivory the colour is. But my golly. I tell you what, it's hard, it's hard to keep coming up with superlatives. Again, there's more in that series there if you want to take the time to read that. David, thanks, doesn't seem like a big enough word, really. Uh, what now, what now? All oh, right, okay. Is this card out different to this one? Just checking. Yes, it is. So I've shown you this Night Rider, and that's 2012. And there's a different time period. And this one simply says kit. So as I'm looking at a comparison, yeah, is that focusing right? Yeah. It is now. You can see the wheels are different, however slightly. The casting ex is exactly the same, but the bottom one hasn't got the red flashing beacon on. So I've got two versions of kit there. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. I'll have to pick this bag up now because I'm getting near the bottom. And I'm seeing one... Oh, we've got some loose ones. We've got a sticker here. What's on the second uh, in Birmingham? That's Birmingham, Alabama, not Birmingham, uh, Birmingham England. So that's uh, great. I shall check that out. I wonder if that's something like an expo. I was wrong, there wasn't two Calendar Girl cars in there. There was the one. I don't know whether I dreamt that or not. Oh, it's a bit of wishful thinking. So, let's have a look. I've got one, two, uh, three. Three loose castings. And then something a bit uh, special for the back there. So, well, being as I've nearly thrown it into view, we'll go for a nice red stock beetle. I think I've got this casting because the wheels are familiar, but I haven't got it in this colour. I think I've got it in yellow. Or if I'm winding people up, I like to call it lemon. Uh, oh, I've got a number on there. Oh, Major Act. Yeah, Major Act with their uh, commercial number on there. VW Beetle, it's simply entitled. I'll tell you what, we can put this lady front and centre now, which is uh, where she deserves to be. We've got this beauty with lifting tailgate, so I'm assuming this is a majorette because they tend to put these things on. Nice, solid clunk there. 
It's a GTI version because we can see it on the detail. Oh, I can. There you go. Now you can. There we go. Nice wheels. Very nice wheels. And fully specced out and logoed on the front. Wing mirrors. I think this is major as well. Yeah, indeed it is. You can just see it on the top plate there in the light as a tip it like that. This time the production number is stamped on or printed on there. And this is Volkswagen Golf GTI. Beautiful casting. No, I haven't got that one, so that's welcome. And then there's this, I think. Well, I'll speak to you about it in a second. There we go. There's a simplistic American fictitious uh, army dragster. Because uh, I, I never... So I'm quite an historian, really. I like to study and research, and um, I never, I never remember any American uh, vehicles in the war that were like this. So I'm saying this is a funky dragster done in a militaristic style, and the wheels are very, very old. Look at how far they. If I push them, push them up. Look, you see how far the rivets stick out. So that's uh, that's a long way out. <laughs> And I'm only suggesting it because if you turn it over and you get that, and that means to me that's probably a Tootsie toy made in Chicago. Thank you for the information, Johnny Roman. Never forgotten. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. That's a, it's a something dragster. I think it might be war, war dragster or... Can you make that out with your eyes at the top there in the front nose? You can see Dragster there, look. And get it in focus. There you go. But that top weird, it's something. Interesting now. Uh, I'm not seeing. Oh, hang on. Turn it that way. Yeah, Tootsie Toy. So I know this has got some age to it because uh, they don't uh, exist anymore, do they? Tootsie Toy. Can see there was some red detailing in there that's long worn off. Whether it was a a touch up paint job or not, not much of a roller, but certainly a piece. Uh, and finally, and this is my first ever. So this is a box of fish you sent me here, twelve dollars, which I think is cheap, um, and it's a Miho exclusive, and a UFX. Uh, a USA exclusive limited to one of 2,400 pieces and here we go it's my first ever piece by Mini, T Mini GT $12 on there David you don't need to go spending this much on mate but uh, there we go this seems to be everything the people tell me they are as in it's a buy word for quality Mini GT but it's my first ever piece. So it's it's been a box full of firsts and requests. But isn't that beautiful? I guess that's their production number, 152 in a series. And you've got the Land Rover Defender 110. Royal Mail Post Bus. So I haven't even seen it here. And this is this is our this is our mail squad. This is our national carrier. When I send you your boxes, it's these fellas and girls that bring it to you. So we've got nice pearlescent detail there on the front. Beautiful spare tyre on the bonnet. These split rail uh, windows that add uh, light into the cabin space. Um, we've got authentic rims on there, that's for sure. Beautiful picked out detail in black uh, fixing knots. And then we've got full details on the back including the Royal Mail logo. So not only is this something from home, but not from home. And uh, my first Mini GT and it, it looks as stunning as everybody tells me they are. Uh, da -da, new Mini GT 164 series featuring quality model cars, authentic details. Air cast body and chassis limited edition run distributed by M&J Toys USA. 
I suppose that's what the Mio exclusive is then, is it? There's like a, an holographic sticker there to add to the authenticity. Can I see a date of production on this? Running over it quickly. <sighs> no, I can't. Made in Hong Kong, China, which is most things. No, I can't see a date on that. Only... No, no, but that is something wonderful, that. So we'll have them as a cover shot, I think. Uh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? When I get these special pieces from the USA, or oh, sometimes Germany and Belgium and what have you, the, the last thing I want to do is open them up because they've been, the packaging is so fantastic quality. You see the piece in its entirety with the boxes and the artwork and that. And I'll show you, I've got a special place I put these ones. These mean something to me. And that's why I don't think I'll open them because, you know, they get into your heart and what have you. So anyway, uh, nearly 32 minutes. I'm going to run out because this thing switches itself off shortly. I shall say cheerio. Thanks for watching. Please consider like, subscribing and it's in the notification bell, David Johns, thank you so much. This has been a wondrous, wonderful gift from your generous self. Everybody else, look out for each other, take care, be good, and we'll speak to you soon. Coming next, XLT Off-Road Bears Megabox. Okay, folks, bye-bye.